are the Blades of Death, the world's most dangerous magic trick. Tonight, one man will challenge this vicious weapon, and in doing so, risk his life. It's a battle of warm flesh versus cold steel. On The Champions of Magic from Monaco. Featuring her hosts, Her Serene Highness Princess Stephanie of Monaco and international film and TV star Lorenzo Lamas. Starring the masters of physical grand illusion, The Pendragons. From Portugal, the amazing Luis de Matos. The current world champion of stage magic, Greg Fruin. The remarkable manipulation of Joseph Gabriel. Plus, the magic hands of crazy man Bill Malone. The charming wonders of Alain Choquette. The terrifying illusion of Steve Wyrick. And a very special guest, the living legend of magic, Mr. Channing Pollock. It's a once-in-a-lifetime magical mystery tour. The Champions of Magic from Monaco. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the Champions of Magic, Princess Stephanie of Monaco. Good evening and welcome to Monaco. Tonight, we've invited the best, the champions of magic from around the world, to come here and perform their greatest feats. You'll see things you'll never forget. One of the magicians even claims he can make me disappear. We'll see about that. Tonight, to assist me, I've invited a friend, Lorenzo Lamas. Good evening, Lorenzo. Thanks for coming. Gave me a chance to see the city, Princess Stephanie. No, that's Stephanie Lorenzo, please. Well, thank you. When you guys at home see the amazing feats being performed on tonight's show, you'll probably think it's got to be a camera trick. Nope. Noah's right. I give you my word. Everything you will witness tonight is being performed without the aid of any video or camera trickery. No movie magic, just real magic. What you will see is exactly the same as if you were here with us. So let's get started with the Champions of Magic. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. Tonight, we have the current champion of stage magic, Canadian Greg Fruin. He's brought his newest delusion, which he called Shrouded Transition. Shrouded? As in shrouded in mystery? No, I think it's shroud as in cape. Like Superman. No, that's Sunday night at 8. Oh. So ladies and gentlemen, performing Shroud Transition, the current world champion of stage magic, Greg Fruin. So, Stephanie, I know that you and Daniel are really into magic, so tell me, how do they do it? Spoil the fun? Yeah. Not a chance, Lorenzo. Ah. The truth is, I am really amazed at what they can do. You mean you don't know any of the secrets of these magicians, these world champion magicians? Speaking of not world Steve champions, or Greg next or... are the Pendragons. They were twice named Magicians of the Year by the Academy of Magical Arts. And when you see this next illusion, you'll understand why. Well, so far, I'm not understanding much. But I hope to. I really, really do. Nope. 
Presenting their original illusion, Infinity, here are Jonathan and Charlotte, the Pendragons. Just one little trick. Give me a secret. Six bus saws of solid surgical steel. They are the centerpiece of the most terrifying illusion in all the world of magic, the blades of death. And when to return, Luis D'Amato's levitates a girl outdoors in broad daylight. Princess Stephanie volunteers and then disappears. Joseph Gabriel produces birds out of thin air. And Greg Fruin returns with a never-before-seen escape as he attempts to survive the drop of doom on The Champions of Magic from Monaco. In a sob. Right into the dough, then sprinkled with Romano cheese all around the crust. Call and get a large one topping, just $9.99. Domino's hot wow now! You like driving along. You get the big hungry. But you've only got a little quarter. You spot a mom and pop. You stop them. Aha, lots of little Debbie single packs. So many to pick from. So little time. Imagine life without allergies. It's simple. Because new Nasal Crom Allergy Controller is now available without a prescription. Nasal Crom doesn't just treat your nasal allergy symptoms. It helps prevent them. You see, it builds a protective barrier to stop the allergic reaction before it starts. And Nasal Crom won't make you drowsy. Don't just treat your allergy symptoms, prevent them. With new nasal crumb, keep allergies away. With new nasal crumb spray. Oh yeah? Well, I really didn't want to go with you anyway. You'll be begging for me when that heater goes out. There's only one place you'll find Tim. On Home Improvement, Tuesdays on ABC. Tell you like my foot. They started it today, and then it was stopped by rain. They'll finish it tomorrow. It's the 81st running of the Indy 500 on ABC Sports. You know, the closest you and I ever get to experiencing weightlessness is when we're in the water. But imagine floating on air. Luis Tomatos knows exactly what it takes to float a person on air. He does it all the time. Right now, Luis is at the Monte Carlo Beach, where he will attempt to float a girl on air with nothing around but the sun, the surf, and the sand. Hi, Hi Stephanie. You know what? That's a saltwater pool. It's like floating on air. <laughs> From Portugal, here he is, the incomparable Luis Tomatos. What did I say? I had said floating on air. No.
This is the most famous casino in the world. It reminds me of James Bond, Baccarat tables, fortunes won and lost. Just imagine what it would be like to be able to do anything you want with a deck of cards here in the Monte Carlo Casino. Well, it's easy if you're Bill Malone. Thank you, thank you, it's a good crowd. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna start off with the easy stuff and then work my way up. Can everyone see all the cards, how they're in order? We have king through ace of hearts all the way through king through ace of clubs, king through the ace of diamonds, and king through the ace of spade, all the way through every single card in order. Now, whenever you watch a magician perform, it's very important that the magician shuffles the cards, because if the cards are in that order, ace through king, all the way through, it's very easy for the person to cheat, because if you pick the card, he could just see which one's missing. So again, just so you don't forget, remember the order is king through ace of heart, king through ace of clubs, king through ace of diamonds, king through thank you. I'm not having too much luck, so would you do me a favor, Davis? Would you shuffle them, please? Just mix them up real good. Now, I'm a little bit nervous tonight because I'm usually not even allowed in a casino. I'm just going to calm my nerves just a little. <laughs> okay, thank you. I feel a lot better now. Now, most people think that magicians have to use a full deck in order to fool you. So tonight, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to just use 20 cards. I'm going to give you 20 cards. Shuffle them up, please. Shuffle them up. While he's doing that, sweetheart, would you cut the cards, please? I'm sorry, I was talking to him. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle, good. Okay, now, what I'd like you to do is count 10 cards into my hand out loud one at a time. Everybody count with them, come on. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six. six. Pretend you're at a party. Seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. Thank you very much. Didn't he do a good job? Very, very good. No, he's good. Do me a favor. Coco, would you sit on those? Sit on them. Ah, I asked you first. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Count those. There should be ten left. Count them out loud one at a time. Everybody count with a gun. Two, three, four, five, six. That's good, Tanya. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Give Davis a big round of applause. Didn't he do a good job? Thank you very much. And what is your name, please? Karen. That's my middle name. Karen, this is great. You sit on the other ten, okay? Make sure they're all the way in the middle. <laughs> you do it like you've done it before, too. That's very good. Okay, may I have the rest, please? Thank you, sir. Okay, Davis, we're going to let you take out any one of these cards, okay? But let me explain what's going to happen. Whatever number that he picks, 
that many of Coco's cards will disappear. If you, yes, I'm sure I work here. <laughs> okay. Not only will they disappear from you, but they'll go under you. If you know what I mean, and I think you do. Okay, Karen? <laughs> okay, Davis, are you ready, sir? Yes. Sir. As I go like this, whenever you want, say stop. Stop. Right there? Right. That's a three. Is that okay? Yes. Are you sure? You can change it if you like. No. Oh, okay. So I have to make three of her cards disappear and go under Karen. Karen, get ready to receive. Hold still, Coco. One, two, one more. Push. Good. They're very good. Take out your ten cards. Count them out loud. Quick. Everybody count with her. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. With gloves on. Great. Go ahead, Karen. Out loud. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Give them all three a big round of applause. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you, Bill Malone. Bill Malone. Yes, thank you. Bill Malone. Bill Malone. The Mediterranean Sea, playground for the rich and famous. Today, it could turn into a watery grave when a world champion magician faces the drop of doom. Plus, Joseph Gabriel dazzles the princess. Alain Choquette dices a woman into five pieces. Luis D'Amato's astounds us with his close-up. The Pen Dragons bring an artist's vision to life. And get ready for Steve Wiring and the most dangerous illusion in the world. All on the Champions of Magic from Monaco. McDonald's Big Beefy Quarter Pounder with Cheese. Just buy any size fries and drink and get one Big Beefy Quarter Pounder with Cheese for just 55 cents in a My Size meal. always been fans of magic and when my mother and father were married they selected a magician to entertain their wedding guests a man who had perfected an entirely new form of magical artistry the manipulation of live birds his name Channing Pollock this is a very special moment because here with me is the legendary Channing Pollock you know your parents wedding wasn't the only time I performed here in Monaco it wasn't no Prince Rainier and Princess Grace really did love magic. And I was invited back to the palace to perform for royal birthday parties. Wow, that was you? Well, our next performer carries a torch lit by you many years ago. Let's watch Joseph Gabriel.
That was wonderful. Jenning, can you show me how it's done? Princess, your wish is my command. This is the Hotel de Paris, one of the most famous hotels in all the world. And just inside is Canada's most famous illusionist, Alain Choquette. He claims to be able to cut a woman into five parts and put her back together again. <laughs> now, this is something I've got to see. He's also going to teach us the secret theory behind all illusions as he attempts to vanish Princess Stephanie. Oh, and by the way, this is our best chance to find out how these guys really do it. So why don't you come on inside with me? and meet Alain Chouquet. Because it's the first Champions of Magic, I thought I could break the rules by teaching you how we built an illusion and how we make a person disappear. You'll see it's very, very easy. First, you need a table like this and a frame and some boards because we're going to build a box. Now, I've labeled the boards so it's going to be easier for you to follow. Front, back, and front. Now, remember this. All you got to do here is remember that the front goes in front and the back of the front goes in front of the back. So that's all you have to remember about that. Now the sides. <laughs> the outside and the inside right. Now put the outside outside, of course. And don't forget one thing. My right is also your left. That's all you have to remember. And finally, now, this is the back front and the back. Now the back, very important, goes in the back. And the back of the front goes in front of the back. Very good. That's all you have to remember. Now, because you want to make a person appear, well, you need one. And who volunteered? Princess Tiffany. Hello. This can be very cool. uh, you're going to love this, I promise. Okay, will I be gone long? Uh, I'll bring you right back. For don't sure. Worry. Oh, yes, don't worry. Now, the only thing you have to do now is step in the box. Okay. Do. Just step inside and pray. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Now, the instructions promised me that you would disappear, and I hope it's going to work. Now, this is going to go here, all right? Now, the first thing, we take off the backboard like this. The sides. <laughs> I hope it works. And the front. She's not here. And of course, not there. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Houdini made a career of breaking out of wooden packing crates, which were often thrown into a pool or a river. World champion magician Greg Fruin will not only be nailed into a solid wooden box, he will also be locked inside a bag first and then the box will be airlifted by helicopter and dropped from over 100 feet into the Mediterranean Sea. The box has special weights added, which will cause it to sink within seconds of landing, making Greg's challenge very dangerous. Well, Greg, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Greg Fruin and the Drop of Doom. to secure Greg with chains and industrial strength locks. The helicopter is in the air and standing by. Sewn from parachute nylon. One more challenge to overcome. shooting the box, and we'll show it to you from both angles simultaneously. is moving into its final position. Keep your eyes on Greg Fruin and the box. He was supposed to be out by now. There doesn't seem to be any sign of activity, and they're supposed to drop the box any second now. Oh my gosh, there it goes. I don't see him. Where is he? There, there he is. Greg's in the helicopter. Unbelievable, he's in the helicopter. The incredible Greg Bruin. Still to come on the Champions of Magic, Steve Weirich prepares for the ultimate challenge, warm flesh versus cold steel. Stay sharp for the blades of death. And whatever happened to Princess Stephanie? Discover how she magically reappears next on the Champions of Magic. Champions of Magic will continue in a moment. Once again, is Portugal's Luis de Matos. Remember, what you are seeing is accomplished without the aid of any camera tricks. Watch closely. television show like I just did? Well, in fact, yes, Chris. It's almost every week back home in Portugal. So you know what it feels like? Uh, do you feel okay? Yeah, I feel fine. But let's go find Mr. Choquette. Okay. I 
In magic, big illusion gets all the glamour and fame. But close-up magic, the kind that is performed only inches away from an audience, is my favorite. Hello, John. Any table becomes a stage, even one at a sidewalk cafe in Monte Carlo. Bonjour, Alain. Oh, yeah. Hi, Princess. I'm sure you'd like to thank Louis for finding me. Yeah. By the way, did you ever plan on making me reappear? Uh, I have a trick to show you. Uh, I'm going to teach you how people find cards in a deck, all right? OK. OK, it's very easy. OK, first of all, I'm going to use this deck of cards and show that all the cards are different. This is ordinary deck. Okay, now you're gonna place, I'm gonna shuffle once, and you're gonna place your finger on one card, any card you want. That you want this one? Yeah. Okay, take it, don't show me, show it to the camera. Now place it here, very good. Cut the cards once, complete the cut, and spread the cards on the table. We use special glasses to read your mind, see through the cards and find it, right? Okay. I'm pressing it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me just feel the cards. Feel. Put your hands on mine. Very good. I feel it right there. Good. That's your card. Am I correct? No. Nope. Give me one more chance. <laughs> this one here? No. What was your card, Princess? Eight of hearts. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. I knew the card. Eight of hearts. It looks good. Louis, <laughs> by the way, my favorite trick is the linking rings. Well, I, I didn't brought mine uh, with me. Uh, maybe I can show you something with... Um, may I? Go ahead. Okay. With, with um, these three cards. Uh, there go your cards. Linking cards. <laughs> There you go. Wow, that's very great. Good. Very good. Thanks, Helen. Can I, I th thank you very much. <laughs> Can I do one more? Sure. Yes. Yeah? OK, watch this. Um, here's a bottle. Oh, I don't need this anymore. Here's a bottle, and here's a cap, the, the cap of the bottle, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to penetrate the cap in the bottle. No way. I'm going to try. I didn't say I was going to do it, but I'm going to try. <laughs> OK, watch this. So it's going to go one. Right inside. You can examine. <laughs> it's right in he there. did it. That's great. Princess, uh, have you ever floated in the air? No. No? I know. Only in an imaginary sense. Would you please sign this handkerchief? Okay, thank you. This is Princess Stephanie. Stephanie. That's me. <laughs> the time for waiting is over. When we come back, the blades of death. But first, a special surprise from Princess Stephanie and the Pendragons on The Champions of Magic. Nothing is all, but just give you something to drink. There ain't nothing on ice to the say to now. Left in fresh guys pay, eh? Except maybe this. it is said, are weavers of dreams, and many dreams are filled with the images of a special loved one. My mother used to say, what is so special about a rose that it seems far more than a flower? Perhaps it is the mystery it has gathered through the ages. 
Perhaps it is the joy it continues to give. Our next illusion starts with a rose, a symbol of love, of beauty, and fragility. Here again, performing to a song I wrote for my mother, are the Pendragons with the artist's dream. There has always been a dark side to magic. The death-defying challenges popularized by the great Houdini, where penalty for failure translates to a gruesome death. Steve Wyrick is attracted to that dark side. He won the first prize at an international Brotherhood of Magicians competition, and tonight brings us a unique and terrifying challenge to escape from neck, waist, and leg shackles before time runs out. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Wyrick and the Blades of Death. Six instruments of death. The ultimate penalty should he fail to escape.
altar of the ultimate challenge. Waist shackles complete the restraints. Assistants are assembling barricades to contain him. The final locks are put in place. From this moment on, the camera will not cut away. per minute. It's time for the Blades of Death. He's got one hand free. Get out in time. I don't see him. There, in the tower. Yes, it's Steve Weirich. He did it. Stay with us as the Champions of Magic continues. Steve Weirich and the Blades of Death. That was an amazing Wasn't illusion. Do you happen incredible. to know how they do that? They say that everyone loves a good mystery. Tonight, I hope we gave you more than one to love. Well, I'd still love to find out the secret to any one of those magic tricks that were performed here tonight. By the way, Stephanie, when Elaine Choquette made you disappear, where did you go? You can tell me. No, that's my little secret, Lorenzo. But I'll tell you what, maybe next year you'll get to disappear. Really? Yeah. I'm finding out some secrets next year. Good night, Lorenzo. Good Thanks night, for Stephanie. coming. My pleasure. Thank you for watching. Au revoir. Good night, Good night. everyone. Okay, camera's off. That was in the helicopter gag when the helicopter dropped the box. I don't know, Lorenzo. The camera. Hotel accommodations provided by Hotel Hermitage and Hotel de Paris, where majestic elegance and splendor blend with sophisticated technology. Journey to the Principality of Monaco. Producers of General Hospital. 
Sunday, June 1st. Get ready for more.